a lot of not only um, acknowledgement but celebration of cultures here which is lovely uh, so it's, it's nice to work in an environment where that's appreciated and embraced. So I definitely identify myself as Ukrainian and definitely live in a cross-cultural world. I get really excited when I uh, see a client who speaks Mandarin and and I can help with. The way I dress, the way I talk, it's very, very Puerto Rican. We are very colorful people, so we do a lot of color, and Oaxaca is also known for their gastronomia or their food. Two things that every Costa Rican give for granted. One is health, and the other one is weather. My father uh, was from Afghanistan, and my mother is from India, so I'm half and half, or a half Gan, as I like to call myself. I am originally from San Juan, Puerto Rico. And ethnically and culturally, I identify as Armenian. My background is I'm Somali, American, and I've been here more than 25 years. Growing up in a Mexican household, it was always um, full of music and full of food. Food in Puerto Rico comes from the heart, and I hope and appreciate most of the people see it that way as well. Most popular dishes are rice and goat. Um, most Somalis don't eat pork. They don't drink alcohol because they observe Islamic rules. Um, also, one interesting thing is banana is usually served on most meals. We've held on to our culture, language, and primarily food and how we gather together as a family. So like family is central to um, our identity and food is definitely really important. My mom being from India is Hindu, so we would celebrate all the Hindu festivals like Diwali and Holi. And then my father being Muslim, we would celebrate all the uh, Islamic holidays, so like Eid and Ramadan. I think I miss being surrounded by mountains because uh, it is nice that feeling that you are there's something cozy, that you are contained into something, and that's, that's very, very nice. Being surrounded by colors brings about a sense of happiness, and I kinda that kind of transfers into my personality, a little bit bubbly and happy, a little bit loud at times. I talk to friends and talk to family members who speak Mandarin, um, to um, continue using the language. I think language is a significant part of a culture and I cook Chinese food a lot. We assume a lot about people based on how they look. And I experience that a lot because I might look like a traditional American person based on the color of my skin, right? Um, but it's like I'm also an immigrant and I'm also from Europe, so um, so that, that's always been a lesson to me that just because someone looks like, you know, they're from Columbus, they're from U.S., they don't, you know, this is their main culture, that's not always the case. Something that's very similar to Ohio though, um, the genuineness of people. Um, this was the first state I'd ever been to where if I was just in a line, people would just genuinely ask you how your day was and that was very much what I grew up with. If you are curious about anyone's culture or ethnicity, you know, they're always ask. People love to talk about where they came from and it's a great opportunity to learn from each other.